This is going to be one of the site locations, too, of the signage that we're going to unveil later today. You're going to see it over there, and I do want to thank the uh, Ross Development Corporation who owns the site. Uh, those signs will be down, the two that you're seeing over there, and they'll be a big sign that will be coordinated with all the signage that's going to be taking place at the airport, the corridor coming in, the downtown signage, the storefront signage. This will be integrated into that sign program, uh, and this lot will be one of the uh, beautification sites that we're getting, getting ready for in the 24th and 25th. I look at it as three phases. The first phase was that we were selected. When President Obama picked the Pittsburgh region, that put us on the world stage. Uh, he could have picked any city in the United States. He picked this region for a lot of reasons. Our turnaround story is well known, and it's going to be really well known internationally now. That's number one. Number two, the second phase is leading up to the 24th and 25th. What do we do as a community? We're going to have national, international media in and out of this town up, up until that date telling our story, getting the opportunity to tell that story free to the international, national media as they come in here about what is this story of Greater Pittsburgh. And then the third phase, obviously, is being a great host when they're here, 24th and 25th, showing the leaders of the world what's great about this region. I guess you could add a fourth stage, and that is what's left after they leave. And that would be, obviously, the beautification is going to be left, but also the legacy of hosting it is going to be left, and how do we build off it? We plan on build offing. Build, building off of that attention that we're getting. So I look at it as in four, four phases of, of the benefit of, of hosting the G20. The idea is to welcome the world to Pittsburgh. And if you notice a theme on all these, forget the wording right now, you see a lot of green. Uh, and there's a reason for that because uh, one of the reasons, not the only reason, but one of the reasons we were selected is because of how far out front we are as a region with uh, lead development and green development. Obviously, they have the largest lead certified convention center was important but we also lead in products that go into green buildings but the beauty of this is even as we get close if there's a I don't know partially completed structure or something should close you could quickly cover it and make it part of the same uh, scheme of signage that we have so it really gives us some flexibility leading right up to the date of the event